A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hello, friends. I am rarely up and down the stairs when this one is getting ready for school, huh? Does it, do, it feel better? Let me hold this. She's got like a an ache in her chest. Last night we didn't know if it was like, and it hurts when she breathes. Um, but the inhaler didn't work. Um, and then she kind of got sick to her stomach when she took some Tums, in case it was acid reflux. And then she was able to go to bed. So after an hour. Yeah, it took a while for her to get to go to bed. So I'm not sure, but I am headed to. Well, I'll explain here in a second where I'm going to go. Just got in my car and my little practice run of autopilot is gone. I couldn't really show you the rest of the screen because it shows my whole entire neighborhood on the map. Um, we got a test um, software update for um, the autopilot configuration. And it was fun, but we kind of, we got it because we had to teach it how to work accurately. Um, and I think every single time I used it, I was constantly teaching it. Like at one point I had my, so like when the autopilot is on and you blink to turn, like say right, it will move the car into the right lane and allow you to turn right. I had done that coming into my neighborhood and it turned my right blinker into a left blinker and went into a left hand turn lane into a neighborhood I've never gone in, number one. Number two, I wasn't blinking that direction. <laughs> so then you cancel the autopilot um, and it, there's numerous ways to cancel it, including just hitting the, the brake. Um, and then it immediately asks you on the screen to voice command what was wrong, why you turned it off or if there was anything wrong, you know. And I think that happened to me twice. And then another time it just didn't want to go the direction at all, it just stopped. Anyway, so that was fun while it lasted, but we are going to, I'm kind of sticking out, so I'm gonna kind of pull forward, get my garage shut here. I am doing take two of going to urgent care. <laughs> and you might be kind of questioning that because the last video you guys saw was me crying about um, my insurance not covering urgent care and me not knowing what else to do. So let's give you a very short synopsis of what I spent five hours doing yesterday. <laughs> it was a very wonderful way to start my day. Immediately got up right after Ashley got went to school actually. So I just missed her by just a few minutes. I heard her downstairs with Jason, but um, got on the phone with my insurance company four times and all four times I was number eight, number four, number six, and number two in line um, to be able to talk to someone. So I had to wait for every single time I called the insurance company. I called them four times. I called the urgent care that I had already gone to. Um, I called, uh, who else did I call? A doctor's office to get a general practitioner, a new one. I called um, to schedule another, my post-op appointment for my surgery. That's a fun one that we can talk about later. Um, back and forth, back and forth. I felt like I was in a ping pong match. I was just constantly like, call insurance company, call urgent care. Call insurance company, call doctor. Call insurance company, call doctor again. Call billing at the doctor. Went back and forth. I do have urgent care coverage. It is good at the urgent care I went to the second time, which is fine, except when I called the urgent care to verify um, that I could in fact receive the coverage I wanted. Hang on. It is bus time and there's a lot. I haven't gone to the bus this year, so there's a lot of new like, actually I'm just gonna stay here because they're gonna go past me. There's a lot of new kindergarten moms and grandmas taking kids to the bus and I don't want them to think I'm weird sitting in my car filming. Okay, these kids are Ashley's friends. They're not going to think it's weird. They're just going to say hi to me. <laughs> um, anyway, let me wait for them to walk past and then they're not going to even know that I'm in here. All right, they're, they're going past. They're going to the bus. <sighs> um, 
So I do have urgent care coverage. When I call the urgent care to, one, make an appointment, which is where I'm going now, which is, I need to get going, um, I found out that, oh, you weren't denied because you don't carry insurance for urgent care. I'm like, that's quite literally what you told me. She said, oh, it's because your name doesn't match your driver's license. And we went back and forth, back and forth, called the insurance company, called them back. I have never changed my social to my married name. I went for five years in a row to the um, Social Security office to change my name when I was first married. The first every five years or every year for five years, I went to the office and they're like, you know, you don't need to do this. You're going to have to wait. It's a long application process and there's a fee. You don't actually have to do this. You can just leave your Social Security number with your married na maiden name. So I stopped doing it. I stopped trying it. So for the 23 years that we've been married, I have been running my taxes, my credit, everything through my maiden name, my maiden social. Doesn't match my driver's license because my driver's license, I can use my married Brit or mar marriage certificate to prove that I got married with my social. So they allow me to have a driver's license. It's the only way you can get a driver's license with a new name that's different from your social. <laughs> it's not that hard to figure out, people. And I, she said the only way you can, like, I have to have your driver's license, which insurance said that they don't. They don't have to verify it against my driver's license. Um, hang on. I do, in fact, need to get out of here before the bus comes through or else I am going to get stuck in front of every single stop that the bus driver is going to be going through. Urgent care, I was able, see, ooh, I, I missed that one by a little smidge. <laughs> I would have had to sit that intersection waiting for that bus. Um, I did confirm with the urgent care when I made this appointment for this morning. She pushed me through the system and gave me a, what did she, a guarantor, like guaranteed that my um, name mismatch was okay for this time. I don't know what that's going to mean for the future. Um, when I call my insurance plan, they said I need to contact the insurance company, like the actual overall. Anyway, it's a long convoluted thing, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get my profile name to have an, two names, my maiden and my married. I don't think that's going to be possible, otherwise I would have done it. 23 years ago so I am on my way to urgent care to in case you don't know try and figure out what's wrong with my elbow I have an appointment with my general practitioner now found one that is covered with my insurance it is half hour away the office is um, but that appointment is in October yeah you heard that correct it's in October which is why I need an urgent care I don't even know if I'm going to end up going to that doctor because my insurance can change in November and you can best bet we're going to change insurance. We are not keeping this insurance. It is not working well for us. So let's go to urgent care again this week. Actually, it's a new week, but let's go try again. You told me there'd be better days and nothing that can pull us under. All right. Well... As I knew, she was like, you know, she kind of gave me the diagnosis and I was like, yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. And she's like, how do you know? I was like, because my dad, I'm not trying to get diagnoses from him. I, I, I always follow up with an actual doctor. Trust me. I just knew what my route was likely going to be from him. And she was like, he's correct. And I just kept nodding when she was like, you need to see an orthopedic specialist. And I said, I know. And I said, I need to have an MRI and then probably an injection. She's like, why are you here again? <laughs> I was like, because I need your referral. And she's like, I'm going to give you the referral because that's exactly what you need. There's no point in even running an x-ray. Ow. Oh, I can't pick up my camera. Um... Unfortunately, it didn't hurt as much as it even just did that motion as much as it is as much as it's hurt this morning. Um, but she knew exactly what was wrong and what I need to do. My problem now, and she admitted, she looked at my insurance and she's like, 
she's like, I hate these insurance plans. She's like, there's a really good chance that they're going to re require this referral to come from your general practitioner. It's not going to, they're not going to accept one from an urgent care. I'm going to, she gave it to me regardless, um, but not for a specific um, orthopedic specialist. She did refer me to the one I want to go to. I mean, she did say she wants to refer me to that one because they are really, really good. Um, but I can take this generic um, referral and call them and see if they'll take the referral with my insurance or I can call my insurance and find an orthopedic specialist in network. Um, the nurse just kind of talked to me on my way out. She said sometimes it's better to just go directly through um, like this case would be the orthopedic specialist office um, itself and see if they'll run it through your insurance just straight up um, versus the other way around because um, sometimes it'll it'll work better so I have a referral um, I am gonna do a little bit of due diligence I will go home and I will call the insurance and look it up on the computer and see if there is an in-network orthopedic specialist that I could go with I would assume it would be this one it just I'm it's ironic because this office is in conjunction with the main hospital that's here in my town and I have coverage, full coverage at most doctors at the hospital, which is why I haven't had to change anything with my endocrinologist or my OB, because everything is usually covered at that hospital. And this is a branch of the hospital, so I would hope that it would be covered. That's the way it is for my kids as well with their insurance. They have different insurance, um, but it's a branch of the hospital. They're covered at both places, so that's where they go. I'm probably, I was kind of hoping she would actually put the referral for the actual doctor because it's going to be the doctor that um, Ashley had with <laughs> her forecasts. How many of you have been here long enough? I need you to all uh, raise a little hand emoji in the comments down below. If you have been here long enough to know that Ashley had forecasts for one break in her arm, actually two breaks in her arm at the same time. So how long have you guys been here? Do you guys know that story? Um, so it's only 9.30 in the morning and I already have a diagnosis. I'm gonna call my dad. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna, well, my dad will be happy that I have the referral. Now it's to try and, this battle continues with insurance. But the good news is, ironically, let me put this back in park. When I um, was, after I had spent four or five hours yesterday going through all this back and forth, ping-ponging with my insurance and doctors and stuff, I got something in the mail stating that because we had a life event change with our insurance, aka took Kaylee off of our insurance, um, one of you just invited us to a very special birthday party. You know who you are, and I'm very excited. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, gosh. Oh, because we took Kaylee off of our insurance and added to her as an adult, we need to make her an independent um, so that she can get some scholarships and grants <laughs> to go to college. So we we have a life event and had her taken off of our insurance. And so we could possibly change our plan. <sighs> Wouldn't that be wonderful if I could change it to something... Like, at this point, Jason's willing to pay a higher price to get a better plan or a different... I don't know that we have the option of a different insurance company. I don't think we have that option quite yet, but um, wouldn't that be a miracle? I can't turn the camera off. Hey, kiddo. Hi. Is it the same problem? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I can come get you. I just don't know what it is, you know? Yeah. Should we just take you to urgent care and go have them figure it out? Yeah. Because it hurts to breathe, right? Mm -hmm. Is it like a, a pain? Not like a, like, you don't, you know what acid reflux feels like, right? Yeah, it doesn't feel anything like that. Okay. I just got home. I will hop back in the car and I will come and get you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You want to talk to her? She's currently like jumping at another kid, but it's 
weird because randomly I just get dizzy and then like I feel like throwing up and then I don't and then it's like and then like it hurts to breathe and then I can't focus and then it like freaks me out. I know I, that's got to be a hard feeling to feel. So I understand. All right. Okay, well, I Do I need to tell her I'm coming to get you? Just yeah, say it out loud. I can just tell her. Okay. Hi, I'll come and get her. I think there's something, I don't know, she's having a really hard time breathing. I don't know if she's, oh, ex she yeah, I don't know if she's explained it. We've tried, oh. I know she has an inhaler there. I don't, we tried that last night along with like Tums. I don't know if it's acid reflux or an actual breathing problem, but she's in a lot of pain when she breathes. So, oh, okay. I'm actually just uh, gonna come and get her and take her to urgent care because we tried to resolve it last night and it happened again. Okay, okay. all right. Do you want her to take an inhaler or wait until she's assessed that she's... I'll put the pulse box on her just to make sure she's getting better too. Yeah, do that and then I'll be down in 10 minutes to get her. Okay, all right. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well, I guess we're going <laughs> to... Sorry, I had TikTok going. When she called, uh, let me just finish this teasing with one of you with Jason's reaction for the chickens. You guys just <laughs> found out about our chickens. Um, it was kind of nice to have a long, long delay between current day and uh, it's been nice. So I was, I was trying to get caught up and find out if my insurance will cover this wonderful referral I just got, but okay, I'm gonna tuck you away, run and get Ashley, and go sit in another urgent care. <laughs> this is the day of urgent care, apparently. You told me there'd be better days, and nothing that can pull us under. You wanna take the pain away, but know that I was born as a fight. We fail, we fail. Oh, there. I got about too. Oh. <laughs> got that one on camera, too. Alright. <laughs> I pulled into the garage. Um but it's better light outside the garage, right? You check on the chickens? You're gonna go check on the chickens later. Okay, you can go now. No, I'm not. So after, how long do you think we were there? Two hours? Like two. Two. Or five. five. Maybe even two and a half. Well, we just got home. It's two and a half hours. I picked her up at 10:30. Well, the nurse called at 10:30. I probably picked you up just before 11. It is 1:30. We went straight to urgent care. They, she got, she was actually in a lot of pain and discomfort and nauseous and stuff. So out of respect to her saying no to the camera, we didn't film very much in those moments with the EKG. They put 12 stickers all over you for the EKG and got those results really quick. And then we waited an hour to get the x-ray. They thought we already got the x-ray. No, they were there to, anyway, then we waited um, got the x-ray, waited 45 minutes for the x-ray results, still aren't back yet, so they let us go, um, and she's going to call us with the x-ray results. There's a possibility she has a fractured rib. <laughs> she said sometimes that actually happens with, like, the growth plate, which is strange, but it also could... The, it, or she said it would be like inflamed. It could be. Inflamed. Yeah, like it could be like pneumonia. It actually could be something with her lungs. It could be actually something. So, um. Because like it's kind of small. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a non-cure. <laughs> so, anyway, um, she's feeling better. They gave her some ibuprofen while we were there. So, I think that's helping with the pain right now. Um, and there's only. By we're the time gonna, I got you to school, you'd only have like an hour and a half left at school. We're also just going to say that I may have. Or I'd have a fractured rib. 
You might. I don't know. I don't know what the cause, what's wrong. Um, but I just got a call from my urgent, my urgent care visit. They've sent the referral over to the um, office that I want the referral sent to. So I will, I guess maybe call them. I was going to call my insurance. Um, I might call them and, well, we're just going to wait and see if they don't have any problem with the referral being sent over. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. This, <laughs> this is all I've done today. I had an appointment for Chelsea to go get a scan because um, she wants to earn some extra money, but then they canceled it, luckily, because I, I would have to drop her off and then leave in a half hour. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I have a couple hours here at home. The sun is shining, but it is actually raining. It's kind of strange. Um, very Northwestern-ish. Um, so Ashley's going to go hang out with the chickens. Um, you know, it's always something. We are at home. Finally got a couple hours to uh, get caught up on videos and trying to find answers to my questions about my insurance and trying to find a doctor. They have sent my referral to the place I want to go to, but I don't. I need to call over there. You know, I'm just scared to call over there. I'm waiting for the referral to go through before I ask them if they actually take my insurance because I'm not seeing their location on the um, website for my insurance. So it's not a great sign. I've already called two other places to see. I'd like to see that. You see Chelsea out there? I don't open the door because I don't want to like make her do anything different. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's literally out there with her homework and she's just letting the chickens just hang out with her on the... <laughs> She's probably on the phone with someone too. They're just hanging out with her. <laughs> She's just having the time of her life with these chickens on her. And they're getting so big. Kaylee said they're not done growing. They're gonna poop on her homework. <laughs> I wish you could hear her laughing. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt because I was enjoying watching you. Uh, you just put them down. I know. That's my pencil. They're going to poop on your homework. Get them down. Just put them down. I've told them, Kaylee, that they can't be up there. Get them down. They're going. Boot scooting. There you go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you, you're not coming in here. Put him down. Put it, Bop him. He needs to get down. Get him. You're not coming in here. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. <laughs> Do your homework. I'm very curious. You're not <laughs> they're just staying here. Well, do your homework while they're right here. Do your homework while they're occupied right here. This is not gonna happen. They are not coming in this house. I forgot to tell you what I can't turn the camera on for. Where did they go? No, I can go. Can she's put no, she's no, she's trying to do her homework and it was not working. So, um, I hadn't heard back from the doctor at urgent care about her x ray, and I know usually that means good news, but usually you wait and get your x ray results in office, so it's not normal today that I hadn't heard back from them, and so. Um, cause she told me she would call me either way and let me know, but they didn't, of course, but are you in fact broken? No, no, but it still hurts. It still hurts. It's hurting again. So you can't, we can't give her, can we give you medicine? No. Nope. Not quite yet. Um, cause you didn't get it till like one thirty or so, right? Mm -hmm. Medicine. So it's only been three hours. So. So now it's hurting even having taken ibuprofen. So um, I was just double checking her um, appointment coming up just for her regular yeah. checkup like, with her pediatrician. I can show you. It, no, it's it. it's too close to your chest. <laughs> no, yeah, not on camera. Oh yeah, not on camera. Um, 
but her appointment with her pediatrician is three weeks away. So, um, wait, I mean, wait, it's wait, good. Wait. Keep it there. Keep it there. Hmm. <laughs> you should have that information. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Make that the thumbnail? Yeah. Already made it. It's okay. Um, just be like at the end. Just so I don't, jump we, we don't have right. answers of why it's still hurting or what's wrong. And it's or... Like, it makes me feel like vomiting. That's the thing. It well, makes go sit like... down and rest. You know, her other That's friend was homesick thing. too. Like so they've just been chatting online. And it's also hard because I can't talk to my teacher about it because she like doesn't like she will literally leave you in the room if you throw up in the room. Oh, you can't talk about throwing up. Oh, she doesn't like she, it. She, if Here, we, can you get your sweatshirt? This is if, the second sweatshirt you've worn today. No, because this one's my it's chicken. It's okay, okay. This okay. is my chicken sweatshirt. What does that mean? Because this is what I wear when I'm with the chickens. You wore it today to school, so yeah, how is that any different? Yeah, but now today, like, when I play with the chickens, okay. it's only the chickens. Go and, go and hang it up in the closet if that's... I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I doubt she'll remember to put it back on to play with the chickens. Yeah, exactly. If that's on the stairs, I'm going to be mad. It's not. Go put it on your own bed if you're not willing to like do anything else with it's it. It's not. Um, so no news uh, on her. I have a way to go and get my arm looked at. I just have to find out if I can get it covered. Which is just stupid. Absolutely stupid. So tomorrow I think it's almost... Um, too late. I just, I was trying to find my locate the, anyway, I don't want to explain it anymore. I'm going to figure it out tomorrow. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.